Hey guys, how's it going? Yours truly, Big J Adrian J, back again in the fullest of effect. Yeah, I'm on holiday. I'm on school holidays. So, I thought it's about time I do another uh, recipe for you guys. So today I'm going to do a tried and tested recipe. Tried and tested on electric. Uh, and you know how guys know how much I hate electric. I uh, still haven't got around to get in my gas cooker put in. Anyway, I'm going to make a spicy fish with a saffron infused rice. Here's our piece of fish. We are using Atlant Atlantic uh, salmon. It's a nice piece of fish. Uh, we need uh, an onion and le les oignons. Garlic paste. Now if you want to use fresh garlic that's not a problem. Um, this, is, this is stuff is good. Uh, we're going to use um, organic chopped tomatoes for our paste or our sauce. Uh, that's the smoked paprika. This is parsley. Get the fresh stuff. This is beautiful. And this adds a lovely smell and taste to it. Beautiful. Now this is saffron, saffron water, and I'll tell you, talk you through how we've done that. Um, a lemon for the lemon juice. Oops. Turmeric. That devil salt and pepper and our minute rice, well, just use basmati rice or whatever you want to do. Give me a few minutes to get all set up and I'll show you how to make this. Now this is a really quick dish to make. Once you've done all the prep, it literally takes 15 minutes to make the fish and while the fish is cooking, you make the rice. All done and dusted in 20 minutes. The ultimate fast food. It's beautiful, it's lovely, the tastes are great, and lots of vitamins, minerals and all the good stuff you need. Okay, don't go away. This is the best way I'm going to show you how to prepare fish. There's, an, there's no prepper in to do it, but this is the way I find. Get a, a tish, fish and, tish and kitchen towel, flip it over, take this bit off. You see that lovely? If I get it right up there, can you see that beautiful thing? Now, it's got the fish is going to be baked. Okay. Now the only problem if you bake the fish, the skin goes kind of soggy. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear the fish to give the skin a nice crispy crunch and then we're going to bake it to cook the fish through. Now actually when you cook salmon, if you just wanted to do, literally if you want to cook salmon, in a pan a couple of minutes either side and it's beautiful. It's done. That's all you need to do. Okay? So let's get the pan hot, seared and we'll put the fish in. So I've got a pan with quite a bit of oil in here. The reason being is I don't want the fish to stick and it has to be nice and hot. Okay, so we've got the fish in there. Only needs a couple of minutes. And I think that should do. But that is the, the skin, how crispy it should be. And now we'll get on to making the sauce. I'm going to add a teaspoon of our our garlic throw our onions in just get that uh, heat down a bit oil is important for several things it's actually a a, a, a flavour carrier. It gets the garlic and the, um, the onions. The flavour and the taste uh, transmitted better. So you do need to use a fair amount of, of oil. And be careful when you put in the, uh, the stuff in because it will has a tendency to uh, spit. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cook that until it's our, um, tomatoes. Yep. 
and now we're going to put it onto a medium heat cover it and let that garlic soak in with the onions so what we're going to do is cook it on medium for four minutes and then I'm going to come back, so back and in four check minutes it. it's coming along nicely just give it another stir first spice we need is paprika and I'm going to use about half a teaspoon it's got a nice smoky kind of taste at this point if you want, uh, want it spicy, it's in spicy hot. Um, you want to put uh, probably about half a teaspoon of, uh, of red uh, chili powder. But I don't like it hot. So there we go. Okay, so then now the next thing we want to use is some turmeric. I'm going to use a teaspoon because it really gives it that lovely. Asian Asian taste okay so then the next thing we want to do is saff I've got it in a packet but it's actually in the packet it's sealed and it's got teeny teeny tiny threads okay now this is how you prepare saffron okay so what you do is you get the saffron you put the saffron into a mortar okay then you grind it okay and when it's in the, into a powder you pour hot water into the saff into the uh, mortar now some people use metal with a metal thingy um, and that's because the flavor is very very delicate I don't think there's any difference between using this method okay um, now what I used was for the, the the amount that I had and I wish I did this because I made this earlier um, is I used the half a cup of water which probably brought it up to there okay now this is saffron water okay now once you make it okay you can put this in the actually this bottle when you buy it it comes in a bottle and it's a there's a packet in there and it's only a few little bits and pieces in there and this is about 13 bucks okay now once you've done this you can put this into the fridge for up to about a month I believe and you can use it for anything any kind of flavoring it's a very very subtle flavor but it's more the smell that you get and it's especially good in rice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, half a tablespoon of this saffron water into the fish okay half a tablespoon of our saffron now we've put the, uh, the saffron in there what we have to do is do the parsley now so for the parsley you get some break some leaves This is probably about the right amounts. And what we want to do is chop this up. not very good at chopping this is one thing I have to learn how to do it's probably because I'm also using the wrong type of knife but anyway here we go the parsley about a handful 
handful of parsley, fresh parsley, into this beautiful. Let's turn this down because we don't want this drying out too much. Every time I do a video, I've always got the sniffles. I don't know why. Someone please tell me why. A pinch of salt. A little bit more pepper, I think. Actually, if you want to give it spice without having too much of a cook, uh, chili taste, but you want to have that ping, that comes from pepper. It doesn't come from chili. Chili gives you the burning taste in your mouth, but pepper gives you that ping. So if you want your tongue to ping as opposed to smart, pepper. But I've just put enough pepper for taste. Now the next thing we have to do is lemon juice. So now the next thing we need is our uh, lemon juice. Whoops, if you can see that. Uh, put that in there. It gives it a little bit of... Um, with a bit of sugar. So I'm going to use about that much sugar. To balance it. That should be better. And maybe I'll add a teeny bit more pepper. So give it a bit more of a pingy taste. And take away a bit of that tartness. Quick. Can you see that? Look. It's quite a kind of, of a thick sauce, but that's what I want. If you want a bit more uh, thin, then you can throw some water in if you wanted to, but for me that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off the heat. You can see our fish? And I would turn it over like that. Just uh, pull this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to spoon this concoction over here. So you want to spoon it, spoon it over. Okay. Now, what we want to do is now set our oven to 400 degrees. Now, you want cold water. One cup. two cups. Now you want to add salt. You also want to add butter. And when that's in there, you want to bring it to a boil. One tablespoon of far saffron water. The butter will melt. The saffron water is excellent for uh, it's e saffron water. Excellent for all that ails ya. We're going to turn the water off and add add our rice. We're going to give it a little bit of stir. So now uh, we're going to leave the rice uh, for five minutes and then give it a stir and that should be done. Um, when the temperature of the oven gets to 400 I'm going to bang the salmon into the oven and then cook it for 15 minutes. 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 15 minutes okay and then it's done baby. So um, all in all if you've got the stuff I mean it's taking me a little while longer because I'm actually filming at the same time. But seriously, if you've got someone coming home for dinner quickly, your missus is coming home, 
because uh, you, you know it's only the real men that cook, okay? Uh, you can say, yes, honey, your, your food will be ready in half an hour. Fish, spice rice, done in half an hour, man. Oh, sorry, fish? Spicy fish! Let me try this again. Spicy fish! And it's saffron infused rice, baby! Half an hour, you can do it. And I'll see if I can knock up a little salad on the side. Okay, don't go away. Come back in a bit. Now, um, I had to play around with the rice a little bit because I uh, needed to put a bit more water in there. Uh, cook it up a little bit more. So it's that. And you can see it's a beautiful yellow kind of uh, um, color. Absolutely lovely. Now we're going to take the uh, 15 minutes at 400 and then after 15 minutes leave it in there for another 15 minutes with the gas or electric off and uh, on the top shelf. Carefully open up the parcel. Let's get in a bit closer. Look at that, beautiful. And then we have to serve it on a plate. And there we go, there's my spicy uh, salmon with uh, saffron infused uh, rice. Enjoy it with a glass of wine, enjoy it with family. Whatever you do, enjoy it. Bon appetito.